Hello and welcome back once again to the Dynasty Vipers Viper Bite series in which we look at all the prospects here heading into the 2022 NFL Draft. And this time we are going to go back to the running back position and we are going to talk about Arizona State's Rashad White. Now despite being all state in Missouri, Rashad White had very little hype coming out of high school with very few offers when it came to colleges, which kind of led him down the path to Division II's Nebraska Kearney where he redshirted back in 2017. White would then transfer to Mount San Antonio in California, and he did have himself a couple good seasons down there, which turned into heading to Arizona State after kind of turning down a verbal agreement he once had at UCLA. Thanks in part to former Mount San Antonio, California linebacker slash Arizona State recruiter slash Super Bowl champion with the New York Giants. Antonio Pierce, shout out here to the Mount San Antonio, California Mountie. Now, before we get into a little bit more detail of Rashad White, let's take a second, rate and review us here on podcast platforms such as Stitcher, Spotify, Apple. And if you're watching us right now on the Vipers Network, give us a good old-fashioned thumbs up there hit those notifications, hit that subscribe button, and let's get at it because we are bringing some content here leading up to the draft. Now, speaking of leading up to the draft, we had our combines, we had our tests, and we have our pro days going down, and it all looks like Rashad White is coming up looking better and better each and every day as far as the athletic testing is concerned. Size, six foot, 214 pounds. That RAS score, that relative athletic scoring metric, 9.87. This ranks 21st out of 1,586 running backs from 1987 to 2022. That 40-yard time, 4.48. Vertical, 38 inches. Broad jump, 125 inches. When you look at his speed score, as from player profiler there, 106.3 is in the 84th percentile. That burst score, again, courtesy of player profiler, comes in at 127.1. Again, 87th percentile. You want to talk about domination? That college dominator comes in at 37.8. Again, 87th percentile. And target shares. Target shares for running backs, 18.9. That is in the 98th percentile. Now let's talk about how he got to where he got to. In 2018, 2019, he played two seasons there at Mount San Antonio College, there, becoming a first team junior college All American in 2019 with 1,264 yards and 10 touchdowns. I mentioned earlier he verbally committed to UCLA until Antonio Pierce got involved there. And that was kind of an easy thing one Mountie to another and put things into perspective. And you know what? Antonio Pierce. He banged that gong. He pounded that table to bring Rashad White to Arizona State. Now, Pierce's belief in White quickly paid off in 2020. White averaged 10 yards per carry. He only had 400 yards, but Arizona State, they only played in four games. Not bad for a kid who's only retransferred on three separate occasions. Now, in 2021, White missed some time with that leg injury, but still managed to earn second team all Pac-12 accolades on a strength of another 1,000-yard rushing season. 5.5 yards per carry on 182 carries, 456 receiving yards on 43 receptions, and he scored at least one touchdown in nine of 11 games in 2021. When you look at the highest graded offensive players in the Pac-12 last season, there was Drake London at 91.3 and then Rashad White at 90.8. White may have taken the path less traveled. He's faced some adversity along the way, but when you add up all the numbers at Arizona State, you're looking at a productive back who's averaged 6.3 yards per carry on the ground. That's 224 carries, 1,420 yards, 20 touchdowns, okay? While contributing in the passing game as well with 51 receptions, 607 yards, 11.9 yards per reception there, two touchdowns in 15 games. What are you getting with Rashad White? Let's talk about those strengths and weaknesses right now. With Rashad White, you're getting a three-down potential back, size and speed mixed in with production in both the run and pass game. He lets his block set up before him, and he hits them with speed. And then when it comes to getting the ball in his hands, he reads what's in front of him, and then he attacks. As far as his weaknesses, things he's going to need to improve on as he makes that next step to the NFL, for a passing down back, his hips look a little tight on those lateral cuts, and he doesn't accelerate as quickly as maybe one would hope for. I know people are trying to figure, is he a scat back? Is he a satellite back? Is he an every down back? Well, if you're kind of looking at him as that satellite scat back, those hips are a little too tight. But hey, like Chubb said, it's all in the hips. Now, he gets tackled far too easy, too, if the first man comes through and makes contact. 
And then his contact balance is less than average in comparison to some of these other running backs in the draft. When you break it all down here for a final analysis here, White is quickly becoming one of my favorite players in this draft. I love myself an underdog. I also love myself athletic freaks, which Rashad White fits both those bills. Now, many have a wide variety of opinions where he stands in comparison to his peers in this class. And I've seen him rank as high as the third running back off the board. I've also seen him as low as the 12th running back off the board. I think 12 is a little bit of a stretch, but hey, I've seen it there. Bottom line, White is used to the haters. And he's more than capable to do, once again, what he's always done and block out that noise. White is an athlete who just happens to carry the ball for a living and get himself involved in the pass game. Size, speed, athleticism, and production. You get it all right here in a nice little bow. Sometimes he struggles if he's contacted early, but if he gets loose in the second level, something special is bound to happen. All I ask is, please, please do not turn into another Calum because my heart cannot handle that. But what my heart can handle is the 2022 NFL Prospect Guide brought to you by Fantasy Points. Yes, Fantasy Points is coming at you again strong with this guide right here. You're getting over 200 plus rookie profiles courtesy of NFL Films' Greg Cassell. You've also got Wes Huber, Scott Barrett, Joe Dolan, Graham Barfield, John Hansen, all getting in on one magazine talking about strengths, weaknesses, NFL transitions, measurables, combine results, mock drafts, rankings are in there, both in rookie rankings and Debbie rankings. And you get that all for the low, low price of $25. Want a better deal? Head over to fantasypoints.com right now and enter promo code VIPERS22 and get yourself an additional 10% off whatever you're looking for there for a subscription. This is by far one of the best bang for your buck subscriptions out there today in fantasy football. And hey, this is one of the best, if not the best, NFL Draft Magazine available right now. Also, make sure when news breaks, when trades happens, when signings go down, tune in to the Vipers Network. Get those notifications turned on because we are sure to be bringing them at you, breaking it all down, and making it easy for you to win your fantasy championships. See you next time.